question. Right in the center of one of the oldest parts of Albany sits a bunker disguised as a bus terminal. Outside, years of neglect has allowed vegetation to reclaim the asphalt jungle. Inside, only a handful of benches are available for passengers. Leaky ceilings and peeling paint show the terminal, which opened in the 1970s, has seen better days. It's a bit dingy. It's a, be nice places to, uh, to have places to sit, maybe to charge a phone every once in a while. <laughs> Jean Zarad, who occasionally travels from Manhattan to Albany, says her impression of Albany each time she steps off a bus isn't a good one. Zarat says she's seen improvements at other transportation hubs in the state and wonders why Albany's bus station has been neglected. When I used to take the buses right, back in 1999, all the way up until the, uh, when I lived in Montreal, down to when I moved back home in 2009, this has not changed. Like the buses operating out of it, the terminal could soon be departing. A feasibility study conducted by the Albany Parking Authority in partnership with CDTA is looking at an $81 million seven-story replacement for the current structure. Let's create something that the region can be proud of. Whether you use it or not, uh, it's a gateway to the region. It's another point of entry. Uh, for people coming to the region. We want that first impression to be a good one. The new facility could have nearly 900 parking spaces, access to 30 CDTA routes along with the existing Greyhound and other intercity services. No timeline has been set on when a new facility would be constructed. The station sits on property owned by uh, Greyhound and its, its parent companies. So until we own it, pretty difficult to get something done. In Albany, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC.